Alright, so um, here's our Orochi Transformer version 3. This time we're just using a small universal motor out of a vacuum cleaner. Um, rated at 850 watts on 240 volts AC. Uh, so, just a quick rundown on what's going on here. Both the coils on the state have been disconnected. Um, this motor is running purely by attraction of the rotor when it fires up towards the uh, laminated cores of the stator. Um, one coil is being used for our generator, the other coil is being used as our bucking coil in the situation. Uh, we'll get into that later on, or we may not. Um, and interesting things happen when I place a load on. But uh, we're going to do it unloaded. Um, this is just a, a quick version demo um, for the forums. Uh, to be straight out and honest, this is being researched um, in another place, out of the public eye at the moment. And um, you'll see why shortly. Okay, so um, just our basic circuit and uh, smoothing cap 3300 UF um, to try and smooth the pulses out. It's got rid of most of them, so our meter will be fairly accurate. That's just a... Um, 12 volt globe, automotive globe, tail light, and uh, that's pretty much it for the circuit. So, this meter here, you'll see it's coming off the uh, positive side of that cap, going through into our globe, and then out of the globe through the switch. And this meter here will be reading the current from our 12 volt battery supply there. Um, that is getting sent to the motor, so it goes through the meter and then. This peg is just loose. I will hook it up to the positive side of the motor and away it will go. So we'll start it up um, and we'll check out the amps and we're going to use our scope to uh, look at the voltage both across the motor and across our globe. So our red channel is across the motor. Channel A and channel B, the blue channel, is measuring the voltage across our globe. Um, you will see the slight ripple the cap's not quite big enough but um, good enough to do the job and I'm sure this meter will be having no trouble reading it because I know um, it will be showing us about the same current that that globe takes to draw on a pure DC voltage um, or a pure DC current supply so um, I know that meter is very correct alright so let's start it up and um, it is a bit noisy, so bear with me. Okay, so we have about 13.4 volts across the motor, which is standard for 12 volt battery. Um, that battery bank there is for my UPS, so that battery is getting charged as it is running. Um, and the current 2.07 amps, so 2.07 amps at our 13.4 volts. It's running the motor, and of course nothing through the globe yet. So now we're going to switch the globe on. You will hear the motor bog down. Um, this switch does the globe, and it also brings our shorting circuit into play. Um, but it is very different with the load on it, and we'll leave that for another video. Um, so now our motor is drawing 736 odd milliamps, still at our rated voltage. And this is across our globe, you can see we have about 10.6 volts, 11 volt max, so 10.6 volts RMS because it's got a slight ripple in it. Um, and the current is 1.645 amps. So um, I can turn the globe off. You can watch what happens. Now the globe is just going to go on. So now that is um, showing you the complete opposite to what you would uh, normally get 
when you slow um, one of these universal motors down um, while it's on the same voltage, you normally draw more current. So I'll switch that back off. That red lead's a bit of a pain now, yeah, too. And I'll load the note of my finger without burning myself. You can see when the motor bogs down, we draw more current. When we switch the light on, the motor bogs down, and we draw less current. That's because something is changing in the motor. And um, like I said, I'm not going to get into that. That's uh, to do with the way these coils are configured now. Um, but that is our current draw for our motor. The voltage across the motor, which is the yellow chase, the voltage across the globe, which is the blue chase, and the current through the globe. As you can see, that is the current through the globe. So there you go, um, besides that getting a bit warm without the fan on it, um, this fan actually uh, diverts some of the air down through the motor, so um, it gets a bit hot without it, um, even at that low power consumption, but um, anyway, good enough for a test run. Still a bit more work to do, uh, I think I want to go down in wire size on the coils to get the voltage a little higher and the current a little lower. Um, so I can get up into um, driving um, 240 volt um, outputs instead of 12 volt outputs but uh, we'll see how we go I do have a bigger universal motor I may use that instead of this one and just keep this one for um, the experimenting we're doing here so um, now there's a uh, problem with looping it um, because if I loop it then I can't get this um, coil shorting effect to take place which is going to be a headache so it's going to have to uh, power from the output back into a battery and then the battery is going to have to run the load which is much of a loop and we don't like using batteries because we know what tricks they can play um, so yeah but anyway that's what it is that's what it's doing at the moment um, and we'll let you know how it all pans out thanks for watching guys